Hello, I'm Philip Alexander, the finance editor of the Banker magazine, here at the annual meeting of the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development this year in Astana, the capital of Kazakhstan. And with me is Nick Tesiman, who is the managing director for financial institutions at the EBRD itself. Uh, Nick, at the height of the crisis, uh, the EBRD played a role in the so-called Vienna Initiative uh, that was intended to keep uh, foreign capital flowing into the EBRD's regions of operation. Um, how far has the, the need for that initiative now faded as these economies recover and in what elements is there's still a role for, for multilaterals to continue to support the banking sector in these countries? The Vienna Initiative was originally designed as a, a two-year program, so it has naturally reached the end of the first phase of its life. Uh, EBRD's contribution to that over two years was, was six billion euros worth of, of projects in, in lending, mostly lending and also some equity transactions. Um, and. I guess the first phase can be regarded as a success because the primary objective of uh, keeping banks engaged in, in the region, uh, helping to avoid any pullout, uh, any mass pullout of the foreign owned banks was, was clearly achieved. Uh, they have all stayed active. Some have been, uh, in fact, more aggressive than others in, in building their market positions. Um, but by and large, the, the systems have remained stable. Um, we have done much more work in the financial sector in that period of crisis than we had been doing just before the, 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 the crisis started. Um, but going forward, the, the Vienna Initiative itself and our work uh, will become more focused because that period of crisis has come to an end in, in, in at least most of the countries in which EBRD operates. Uh, a couple of areas of focus going forward would be uh, the, the NPL problem which lingers in some countries, uh, what to do uh, with the NPLs, how to resolve them, how to facilitate new lending in some of the economies, and also the impact that Basel III will have in the EBRD region, which is still early days and difficult to say. Um, banks are already concerned about whether there'll be perhaps some unforeseen uh, consequences on their operations in, in the region. And therefore, working groups going forward will be very focused on, on particular topics of, of critical interest to the industry as a whole. One of the other key areas of focus for the EBRD since the crisis has been the development of local capital markets in your countries of operation. Uh, how is that initiative progressing at the moment? The initiative was launched a, a year ago, and indeed at this, at this meeting, quite a lot of time is being devoted to um, stock-taking, seeing how much progress has been made. Um, and I think progress is being made, because finally we're, we're putting together a, a clearer picture of what actually exists in, in the countries in the EBRD region and developing a roadmap for going forward in terms of concrete steps that can be taken to, to develop these local capital markets. What I would say, and, and what was apparent at the beginning, is that this will be a, a multi-year um, process. It's very difficult to achieve quick fixes uh, in, in developing the local capital market, simply because you need a, a good, solid foundation uh, from which to operate. Um, some of the countries in which EBRD works are already, already relatively developed, and, and some are still probably many years away from having a functioning market. Um, what we do in concrete terms is to try to lend in, in local currency through our projects whenever we, we can um, in, order to, in order to promote the doing of the right thing by our own um, partners in, in the banking sector. Uh, we issue bonds as EBRD in, in, in local currency where we have the opportunity to, to do so. But of course, more widely, there's a whole uh, policy dialogue effort going on right now, which is trying to put in place some of the some of the building blocks which are going to be necessary for longer term reform, which will support then the emergence of, of, of stronger local capital markets. Nick, thank you very much for your time and best wishes for the meeting. Thank you.